In this unit, we are going to take a look at the different time domain sources in Interconnect that can be used for time domain simulations and learn about their settings. We will start by taking a close look at the CW laser source within the Sources folder of the Element Library. This is a time-dependent source, and Interconnect will automatically run a time domain simulation when it's present in the circuit. We can set the signal processing method through the Output Signal Mode property under the Simulation section. We can see that the property is set to Sample and is grayed out, which means that the value can't be edited. This is because it is inherited from the root element using an expression. We can check the value of the Output Signal Mode property of the root element by selecting it in the element tree. You can also click on any empty space in the design window to select root element. By default, the output signal mode property is set to sample. Let's set the output signal mode property to block. Going back to the CW laser element, we can see that the signal processing method is now set to block, which is consistent with the change we made in the root element. We can also define the value directly in the source element. To do this, we will first have to delete the expression. Once the expression is deleted, we can use the drop-down menu to select the mode we want. We can also right-click on the property and choose to inherit the value from root element. This is a safe approach as it is best practice to have the same solver type for all sources. Only advanced users should consider using different solver modes in the same simulation. We can modulate the optical signal from a CW laser using the amplitude modulator element and by applying a modulating electric signal to the modulation port. There are multiple electrical sources available in the element library that can be used to provide the modulating signal. For example, we can use a sine wave source. Or we can use an electrical pulse generator like the non-return to zero pulse generator element. When combined with the pseudo-random bit sequence generator, or PRBS, the electrical pulse generator can provide a time-varying digital electrical signal to the modulation port. There is also an electrical impulse generator in the element library. Note that all of these time-dependent sources have the output sample mode property, and they inherit the value from the root element by default. The Optical Network Analyzer, ONA, can also be used to run time domain simulations. Under the Simulation section, you can see that the Output Signal Mode property is disabled. Now, if we set the analysis type to Impulse Response, then the ONA becomes a time dependent source and the Output Signal Mode property becomes available. The default option is Sample Mode. Let's add a straight waveguide and connect it to the ONA to simulate its optical transmission. Run the simulation. Let's plot the transmission in decibels from the ONA results. Next, we'll switch the analysis type to scattering data in the ONA to run a frequency domain simulation for the same waveguide. Plot the transmission in decibels in the same window. Since we have not optimized the filter properties of the waveguide, we can see that the transmission is only correct at the center frequency. In the Transient Sample Mode Simulation Setup Tips subsection, we will learn how to set up the digital filter of the waveguide element for a sample mode time domain simulation.